the Black Adder series uh, with the, the famous and legendary Rowan, whose name is escaping me now, but he is also played in America, one of the stupidest characters like Mr. Bean or Pee Wee Herman in similarity and scene, and certainly a poor concept of a of a Inspector Clouseau, who used to be incredibly marvelous Peter Sellers, who actually hate his own show, according to the legends. But what I can tell you is these people like to play scenes. And when they play in scenes and you visit their shop, they might be using chemistry, they might be using audio engineering, they might be using their wizardry to try to impact your life. I can remember I was gifted something by a woman in the black shop only to have it stolen over at the beads and botanical shop. And when I left the beads and botanical shop, I wasn't feeling very good, but it was interesting how the woman who was black and running the Enchanted Alley shop, or Enchantment Alley shop, which has a little bit of Harry Potter lore, and I like my fob from there and more, has not ever seen what she has done to me. Now, the lie she told herself was that she had rights to impede my life, but the lie I assessed, assessed in the store is that she had seen my bags that someone had left allegedly near her or around her or showed her in trying to sell it. There was an ugly witching type of person who played around on campus, actually two, very monstrously unattractive women who were always panhandling at campus after I went back to a shelter with my business cards. Then all of a sudden, what I saw was those girls were there and more. The liars of America put things on my hands to give it pockmarks. Thankfully, God healed those things. The liars of America stole my boots on campus and took the insoles out to make my feet hurt and more. The liars of America are men in maintenance houses. There's one white-haired gentleman who might have dyed his hair different, but I get it, it's probably his son or some cousin of his that was dark-haired and was always pissing all over me when I was near the, uh, what do you call it, the Jimmy John's at Locust and Green. The liars of America are always on the scene after a car goes flying up Locust right through the intersection, thankfully not hitting someone at 2 or 3 in the morning, and flying into the ravine where there was yeast mainly and a water treatment facility. What happens to those news stories? Why aren't they on campus? Is that because we have too many Muslims running the newspaper or Koreans doing that? Where did they get off and doing a volunteer program for the university is not the point. Is, is what are these, these people teaching people when they come here?